Right, those who've been watching the last video, uh, you may remember me saying that I think I have a problem. Well, if you're watching this one, and you've just seen the title, uh, congratulations! Because I really do have a problem. Cue the title card, whatever, thing. Just go. Usually, when I buy headphones, they're always based on a review of some kind. So, the Heifermans, uh, the Sennheisers, the Audio Technicas, and I also think the also the Sonys and the even the Beats were based on reviews that I've recently seen. But with these, the Fostex TH610s, there's been no review of these at all, not one. I have seen a review on its predecessor, the TH600s, which use magnesium cups, whereas these use wooden cups. And I've also seen the review based on the flagship model, the TH900s. And these are based on the TH900 Mark II, where you have the detachable cable. It's all a bit confusing, but I have never listened or even seen these headphones in person before. So uh, let's get started. So on the outside of the box, um, all you get is branding and photos, branding, photos, barcode, branding and photo, photo, branding, uh, branding and nothing. That's it. That's all you get. It doesn't list any of the specs on the outside of this box. So they could be on the inside, maybe? So there's only one way to find out. Let's get these open. I've got to be really careful with you. Ooh. Okay. Straight away, we have an even nicer box in the out on the inside. Over there for a second. So it's this sort of very nice cardboard um, with silver lettering on there, simply stating the name, and that's it. And I don't think there's anything else on the outside, so I guess all the good stuff is on the inside. And there's manuals. <laughs> the first thing you get greeted by is manuals. So you've got the owner's manual, which is in both Japanese and English, because these, this is a Japanese company after all. You even get a Japanese certificate of is it of authenticity? Well, I believe it's of authenticity. Um, but yeah, it's in Japanese. I can't, I can't read Japanese at all. It's actually a guarantee. Ah, this, it's a guarantee leaflet. It's, but it's only available in Japan. Fine. Uh, oh well, never mind. Now we have the safety information on the headphones, and of course the language starts in Japanese and then continues on in English. Don't need any of that. You've got a very, very soft leather. Uh, carrying case, which is nicely lined on the inside. That is actually, it's really light, like a really light and soft case. So I quite like that actually, it's quite nice. And the meat and two veg are right there. I will actually say this, it's got a nice foam padding around it, so it's nicely protected, but I will actually say, in terms of sheer presentation alone, the Heifermans definitely win because it's in a nice wooden leather box and the foam is all custom cut and it's lined with a sort of suede like material which, is, which gives off a really nice premium feel but these couldn't be any more premium than those ones so let's lift up the headphones first of all and ooh, the cable is actually pre-attached to the headphones so let's actually take those off or leave them on, that'll do. Let's get them out of the bag. Whoa! Wow, these are some nice headphones, I'm not going to lie. The actual wood is sort of a black uh, walnut finish, or black maple I think, and it's genuine wood as well. Yeah, that's actually a much more premium feeling product than, um, than what I've had before. Now which way does it go? I think it goes on that way. Uh, where were these made? I'm a bit curious on where these are made actually. So. I can't really see where these are actually made. Are these made in China or made in Japan? Who cares? These are actually really nice. I do like these a lot. So, oh, the cable does break away quite nicely. That's good. So, let's pull the cable out gently. I'm going to really gently pull the cable out of those. But yeah. You know what? I think these are too nice to actually put 
slap bang on the table. So uh, it's going to be unorthodox, but bear with me. Cloth. So I've got this sort of microstatic duster to keep these on. I will admit, close down for a second, bag out of the way as well. These actually, the cups actually do feel quite loose, dare I say that, but from what I've heard, these are one of the most well-built headphones out there, so, oh, I like that. I like the adjustment on that, that's actually really nice, listen. Very nice premium click on the cups there. I like that a lot actually, so let's get it more balanced. There you go. Stay steady now, there you go. Right, let's take a look at the cable. So by the looks of it, it's a three meter uh, headphone cable and it uses this new detachable cable system and it's actually keyed as well. So I just noticed that on the right cup, it's red on the inside and for the left cup, it's just black. So you can actually tell you can't actually tell which is which through just looking at the cups alone, but I knew that the red inner bit was on the right hand side. So and that is a that is a massive uh, quarter inch connector on that. That is full metal on the outside. Very nice. Very nice feel. And let's take let's take off the uh, good old cable ties as you do. I'm being really careful with these because uh, I know, I know these are, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, these are very, very premium in terms of what they are. So, okay, we've got a really nice, thick, super thick, braided cable. That is a glorious cable. And as I said, these are, this is actually the breakaway uh, connector. So let's actually pop those in. So I can't, I really can't mess this up. So put them around that way. So we know that that's the right cup. That's the left one. So I don't think it matters which way these goes in. I really don't know. But I've got, there's only one way to find out really. So let's just pop. Okay, I'm, I've got to be super careful with this. I've never been more careful with any product I've ever owned before. So that clicks in there. And that clicks in. I think these are actually keyed. Yeah, these are actually keyed to go in only one way. So you try and put them in up that way, they will not go in. Put them up that way with the R. Now be very careful on this. There's actually an R symbol. It's got to face the other R symbol. So R and R go together. So it actually goes in much nicer. Let me just check the other side very quickly before continuing. Yep, same thing. L has to be the same way up as the other L on the outside of the headphones. And that's how you connect that up. Tell you what, let's try them on. And actually, you're not going to see this. Um, I just want to get a good comfort feel, just so I know what I'm dealing with here in terms of comfort. Okay, uh, I've just got to adjust these a little bit. So, adjust them by two. Two and pop them on my head. You know what? I've got the perfect. Um, I've got the perfect. Uh, yep, that's it. Got it. I've got the perfect comfort level for these headphones. And I'm actually going to say this straight away. These headphones are not light. These are heavy on your head. I mean, compare them to the Audio Technicas, they're quite light. The Heifermans are really light. The Sennheisers are really light. Even the Beats are lighter than these, I think. I don't know, but. Yeah, they do feel really heavy, but that just signifies that these feel well built. The cups are huge. And they've got the most beautiful finish on them I have ever witnessed. Yeah. I actually really can't wait to try these out. So. I need to just double check the time. Uh, time? Have you got the time? Um, excuse me. Um, do you have the time? Um, yes, right, okay, um, right. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, I don't know where that came from. Um, it's just coming up to 10 to 7 now, so um, I'm going to go out for my walk in a minute, so I won't be able to get to try these just yet, but I will do. These, I'm really going to try them. Nothing but good things about Fostex. So when we come back, 
I might reach verdict, but I might need a little bit more time with them. It just depends on how I get on. So with that, I will be back. Um, uh, give it a couple of hours, I reckon. Yeah, a couple of hours, that'll do. First of all, I need to apologise. That took longer than expected. I started the unboxing on the Friday, and at the moment it is currently Saturday at the time of filming this. So at least I spent a good amount of time with the TH610s. A really good amount of time. And it was just enough for me to reach a conclusion on them. If you remember when I did the unboxing and thoughts video of the Hyferman HE400Is, I categorically said that they were the best open back headphones that I have ever worn, that I've ever heard, that I've ever even come across. These are the best headphones I've ever used full stop. In a way, I don't really want to say much else, to be honest. But I think for the sake of it, I've got to, because there are a couple of things I do want to mention. And believe it or not, we're going to start with some critical points. Not bad things, just some points that I need to make absolutely clear. Before I do that, let me just unplug these just in case. I'll dangle you down very gently. Um, first of all is the cable. It's a very nice cable, three meters, which is great. It only ends in the quarter inch jack, makes it perfect for hi-fi use. You don't really want to use these for portable use, naturally. But the cable on the actual headphone cups are actually very slightly keyed. For instance, if I bring up these as close as I possibly can, you can see on the left ear cup, there is actually an L right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but there is an L mark there on the outside. And on the inside of the cable, it, there is also an L marked on there. You have to make sure that both those L's are facing outwards, this way. Otherwise, the cable will not go in. And it's the same on the right-hand side, obviously. Uh, second thing I want to mention is the price. Yes, the price of these things is extortionate. So you're not buying these for just for pleasure. You're not buying them to be a, an affiliate of some kind. This is an investment. You are investing in these headphones. You're not buying them from the internet. You're not impulse buying them. You're investing in them for the long term. But now onto the really good stuff. The reason why I absolutely adore these. First is the construction. It's You've got mainly metal around here, all metal in there. I'm not sure if it's actually metal out here and here as well. If it is, that's great. If not, it's a really, really sturdy plastic. Superb leather on the headband. Superb leather on the very soft, comfortable, pillow-like ear cups. And the ear cups themselves made from some of the finest wood I've ever come across. It's so beautifully finished in this sort of matte varnish to be this dark colour. And even the Fostex logo is adorned beautifully. It's silk screened inch perfectly. <laughs> then there's the sound itself. It's perfect. I've never heard such a perfect headphones. There is plenty of highs. The highs are not exaggerated. They are they're very well adorned. It's difficult to describe but they're very well placed as are the mids. The mids are very noticeable too. And then there's the low end. The low end of these headphones are fan freaking tastic. It's so 
punchy and aggressive, yet you want more of it. It's not like headphones that really over-exaggerate the low end to, to a point where it's really punching in the stomach too hard and repeatedly. This will punch you in such a way that you would actually want more of it. I mean, the things I've obviously done with these. Naturally, I've watched some videos from YouTube, of course. I've also played, most recently, in fact, No Man's Sky. And, by the way, by the way, I just gotta mention this. If you have not got No Man's Sky yet, my advice is buy it right now. You will not regret it, okay? Good, thank you. And it's, I ended up getting lost in that game. Both metaphorically when I was in space and I was exploring new worlds and discovering new species and trading items and minerals that I've acquired and also literally lost at one point when I was on the planet that I started and I got into a cave and I couldn't find my way out so <laughs> I'll digress on that some other time maybe um, and then of course there's the music the music choices I actually extend the playlist by three uh, tracks I've added on a bit of music from Absu, which is another excellent game, by the way. Buy it now. Buy that one too, please. Thank you. Um, and also buy the soundtrack while you're at it, because uh, Austin Wintory really outdoes himself on this soundtrack, and it's very encapsulating. Uh, another track called Checkpoint, which is by Nitro Fun and Hyper Potions, which you'll know where that's actually from. It's really hyper and bouncy and lively. And it comes to life through these headphones in particular, as does the um, uh, Absu's soundtrack as well. You hear the violins, you hear the woodwind, you hear, in fact, you would hear the ocean around you. And then, of course, Checkpoint, where it's very lively, bouncy, and then you've got the 16-bit vibes that really set it apart. And yes, I'm going to put hashtag Sonic Mania hype because you know what I mean. And then, lastly, I've added on a uh, Ludovicio Ianaldi, E. Gioni, one of my favourite piano pieces. And, my God, any genre you throw at these, it's just going to thank you for letting it play. Many people have found their endgame product, whether that's to do with uh, computers, a monitor, a TV, home cinema, whatever it is. These are my end game headphones. I can't ask for anything more perfect than these. And I kind of feel bad for Zeos from Z Reviews. Because he's reviewed the predecessors of these, the 600s, and the flagships, the 900s, and even the mass drop exclusive, the X-100s. And now I've got the 610s. And I'm going to categorically say this right now. If you are looking for some superb, doesn't have to be closed back headphones, or could be open headphones, whatever you're looking for, have a listen to these. Demo them. Wherever you can find a demo room that has these available, demo them. Try them. You will not forget the, the sound experience that Fostex have delivered with these. I absolutely adore them, and they are much, very, very much worth their weight in gold. I could not be happier with a pair of headphones than these. I think that's it. I don't want to listen to anything else. Sennheisers, get out of here. Hyphermans, I will keep you. I love you. Audio Technicas, I'm going to use you on the Zoom these I'm going to use no matter what. I'm going to try and use them all the time here. I want to try them on my home cinema amp as well, just so I can get an experience of like PS4 or Xbox One, or even just watching a YouTube video. I've actually got, I've got Kanekras on. I want to listen to that through these. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect for me. I can ask, I can ask for anything, anything better. With that, with that I'm done. My headphone collection is finished. What a way to end it. 
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, click on that like button, comment on it, share it with people, share this video as much as you want, and click on that subscribe button because I've got an upcoming planned video involving all the headphones that I have bought and purchased and invested in. So keep an eye out for that one. And now, if you'll excuse me, more things await in No Man's Sky. Farewell.